ordained by God in Eden, and confirmed at the wedding in Cana, Galilee, by the gracious presence of Christ. Marriage is the uniting of two hearts and lives, blending all their interests, sympathies, and hopes. It involves mutual compromise, loving tolerance, and holy trust. Marriage is a situation in which two individuals dream a dream together and live out their lives sharing that dream. You may be seated. Jesse and Jessica, you are about to enter into a union which is most sacred and most serious. Most sacred because it is established by God himself, and most sacred because it will bind you together for life in a relationship so close and so intimate that it will profoundly influence the future. That future with its hopes and its disappointments, its successes and its failures, its pleasures, its pain, its joys, and its sorrows is now hidden from your eyes. You may know that these elements are mingled in every life, and you should expect them in your life as well. And so not knowing what is before you, you take each other for better or for worse, richer or for poor, in sickness and in health until death. It is a beautiful tribute to your faith in each other, and from this point on, you will belong entirely to each other. You will be one in mind, one in heart, and one in affection. Your wedded life is built on self-sacrifice. You will be required to make sacrifices, to preserve your marriage. Let me encourage you to always make them generous. Only love can make a sacrifice easier, and perfect love can make it a joy. Sacrifice is usually difficult. However, the more you love, the more willing you are to make a sacrifice. The Bible tells us that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And his son loved the world so much that he gave himself for our salvation. Jesus tells us in John chapter 15, verse 13, that greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. Today you begin a journey with the same sacrificial love. And that love that causes you today to join hands and hearts. May your sacrificial love never fail, but grow deeper and stronger as the years go on. When sacrificial love is present, it will guide your thoughts and your actions. The vows you take this day are sacred vows above words, and that your lives shall be bound together ungratefully. The security of your marriage does not rest in the right of a ritual of any church, nor in the words of any ministry. The security of your marriage will rest in the true purposes of your heart, in your character, in your resolute devotion to one another, and most importantly, in the love of God. Today I ask, who gives Jessica to this man? scriptures declare that a man shall leave his mother and father and cleave unto his wife. As you have stepped away from your parents, you have stepped into a new relationship in your, excuse me, with your betrothed. You declare today your love for one another, and in doing so you begin a new life together. This life will be built upon the teachings of Jesus Christ, the example of love and of the first It does not envy, it does not boast. 
It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in truth. It always perseveres. Love never fails. Marriage is not to be entered into thoughtlessly or lightly. For upon this relationship depends so much of your future happiness. If you two are prepared to choose each other as life and as life companions, you will indicate the same by joining right hands, which you guys have already done, but you're ready. Jesse, do you take Jessica to be your wife, your wedded wife, promising to keep, cherish, and defend her? And to be faithful to the true husband so long as you both shall live? Jesse, in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25, Paul writes, Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. If your intent is to relate to Jessica as Christ relates to his church, please repeat that to me. I, Jesse, take you, Jessica, take you, Jessica. to be my wedded wife. With deepest joy, I receive you into my life, that together we may be one. As Christ is to the church, which is his bride, so I will be to you. I will be a faithful and sacrificial husband. I promise to have and to hold from this day forward. For better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health. And to love you with my deepest love and my unselfish devotion and my most tender care. I promise to direct our lives into the life and faith of Jesus Christ, honoring God's guidance by His Spirit and through His Word. Therefore, Jessica, I pledge to you my life as a loving and faithful husband till death do us part. Jesse, what symbol do you give as a symbol of your commitment to Jessica? Great. You can see the Please take the ring and place it on her finger. And repeat after me. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. And with all my worldly goods, worldly goods. I be in doubt. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jessica, do you take Jesse to be your wedded husband? Oh. <laughs> Promising to adhere consistently to him in all of life's changes and to be his loving and true wife so long as you both shall live. Thank you. <laughs> In Ephesians chapter 5, verses 22 and 24, Paul writes, Wives, submit to your husband's leadership as to the Lord, as the church submits to Christ. If your intent is to relate to Jesse as the church re uh, relates to Christ, please repeat after me. I, Jessica, take you, Jesse, to be my wedded husband, with deepest joy, I receive you into my life, that together we may be one. With confidence, I will follow your leadership, as unto the Lord. And I promise to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, 
and to love with my deepest love, my unselfish devotion, and my tender care, because God has prepared me for you. I will have ever strengthen, help, and comfort you. Therefore, Jesse, I pledge to you my life as a loving and faithful wife. Till death do us part. Jessica, what symbol do you give your commitment to Jesse? Please take the ring and place it on his finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I be with. With this ring, I be with. With all my worldly goods, I be in them. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesse and Jessica, you have just sealed your relationship by the giving and receiving of rings. The covenant is a relationship pledged between the two of you, two people who agree that they will commit themselves to one another. The most beautiful example of this partnership is the marriage relationship that you have committed here today to share the rest of your lives with each other. Today, this relationship is symbol through the pouring of these two individual containers of sand. One representing you, Jesse. One representing you, Jessica. All that you have okay. and all that you will ever be. And as these two containers of sand are poured into a third container, they will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into individual containers, so will your life be.
Let us pray. Eternal Father, Creator, Redeemer, and Lover of our soul, we now turn to you as the first act of this couple in their newly formed union. And we ask you to protect their home. May they always turn to you for guidance, for strength, for provision, and for direction. May they glorify you in the choices that they make. Father, we ask that you help them make their house a habitation of love and peace. We ask, Father, that you would bless them and keep them. Lord, that you would make your face to shine upon them and that you would be gracious to them. And Lord, we lift up your countenance upon them and that you would give them peace. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. For as much as Jesse and Jessica have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and those gathered here today and have given and pledged their faithfulness and love to each other and declared the same by the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jesse Lancewitz. <laughs> Thank you.